Hello, this brief instructional video will demonstrate how you can submit your work to turn it in and review the originality scores prior to submitting for grading if you're interested in doing so. When you are logged into your Cal Southern class, you want to click on the modules link. Here is where you'll find information specific to the class. Once you have navigated through the modules, you will want to select the activity where you want to submit your assignment. If you would like to submit an assignment without having your instructor grade, if you simply want to submit for turn it in review, what you should do is click here to add a comment and type something like this. Please do not review this draft or turn it in. This way your instructor will get the information that this is not for grading, but rather just for you to view the originality score. Once you have made a comment, if you wish to do so, what you will do is you will make sure that you have selected upload and you will click on the drag a file here and upload the document that you wish to submit for Turnitin. In order to be able to submit, you must select I agree to the tools in user license agreement. This assignment submission is my own original work. This is an important attestation that you must make in order to be able to submit the assignment. If you're interested in reading the license agreement, you can click on the link and see the information that pertains to the license directly in the pop-up window. Once you have loaded your file, made a comment if it's applicable, checked the license agreement, you can then click Submit Assignment. And what will happen is your paper will be uploaded and your instructor will be alerted that there is something awaiting review. And then they will see that you have asked for the assignment not to be graded, that it was simply for a Turnitin check. However, if you would like to submit without that Turnitin check, then you can just leave the comment blank or submit something with a comment that says final for grading, if you wish. Once you have submitted your work, pretty immediately you should be able to view the, the Turnitin similarity score by clicking on the grades link in the course. Here you will be able to see the assignments that have been submitted. And if you hover over the colored flag at the very end of the row, you'll be able to see the originality report attached by clicking on the link. Just a note about color coding. The goal is for your originality flag to show green. That means that you're in the safe zone of content that's matching. A yellow means there's perspective potential problems that you'll want to carefully review and address. And red means that there's a high similarity match with content that's been submitted. Let's take a look at an example of a red flagged assignment. You can see here when clicking into the uh, originality report that there is a 100% similarity match to a paper that was submitted to Cal Southern. Now it could be that uh, you are submitting an assignment to a class that you've retaken. If this is the case, you always want to alert your mentor that you will be resubmitting work and make sure that you get permission to do so because otherwise this big similarity match will be returned. Let's go back to the caution originality report because it's flagged in yellow. 
In this case, we have a 61% similarity, which is very high. What you can do is you can see the percentage of the paper that is matching to the various sources by clicking on the link. You can see here that this information was previously submitted to California Southern University. And by clicking on the links, it will take you to the information and you can see it's color coded. So according to the number here and also the color coding, you can see what's matching. Now it is possible that a lot, if you have a shorter paper, for example, you can see that this is a shorter paper and most of the paper is in fact reference material. So what you can do in this case is you can exclude the reference material, which should then limit the overall similarity match. So let's go through here and just exclude these similarity matches that are flagging for reference only material. References are always going to come back as exact matches because they are published. So your faculty has been trained to review and screen out information that has previously been submitted uh, like that. So um, in this case, if I exclude all of these references, I'm left with a 32% similarity for material that was previously submitted to Cal Southern. In this case, one of the things that you can see that is particularly problematic is there is a lot of quoted material. Whenever you use quoted material, it's going to come back as a match. So it's much better to paraphrase than to use direct quotes, which are always going to flag. In this case, my recommendation to this student would be to revise and paraphrase this entire section so that it no longer matches. And once that's done, then you can see all of this content that is not highlighted is showing as original content that is unique to what the student submitted. So that's the goal is to minimize those similarity matches uh, so that you have mostly original content. And then if you do quote, uh, that you do so sparingly, and it's always preferred that you paraphrase and cite to keep that originality as low as possible. I hope this information is helpful and allows you an opportunity to understand how you can pre-check your assignments prior to submission if you wish to ensure originality of the content. Thank you.